So, here we are in Markarth, home of the cops. So, I, I was all ready to go on a tirade about this thing. I remember hating this mission and just feeling like it was this it's horrible, broken, railroady thing. And I am forgetting so much of it that I can't do justice to this now. I, I feel really like I am not doing my job. I remember the railroady part. I remember once you're in jail and you have to lead everyone out from underground. That part kind of sucked. Wow, that yes. you sound say, excessively this actually, intimidated. This quest is better than most Skyrim quests in that it actually has like a thread where you're going around and you're investigating and you're not just like clearing out a dungeon of Draugr. And that's cool. It's urban, and they need more urban quests in this game. But uh, it's also a little too linear, and as you're going to see, it, it reaches a point where, like, it gets really stupid. Well, then by the end, it is just kill all the things, because you go, you eventually end up underground shooting all those guys, right? And then with the king? Or the Car Jarl, or what, whatever it is. I only have the vaguest memory of this game quest. I know! I thought I remembered it. I thought I remembered it, and I do not. What? <laughs> we're getting what arrested happening? again, aren't we? What it's like we're all prisoners no. to the mind of a sociopath. There's wait, some wait, really what? weird shit what? going on out here. And <laughs> what? I, what is happening? Off a fight? What is this fuck? part of the quest? Is this supposed to happen? They killed her. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, that's that. She's that ash pile right over there. <laughs> So, they were supposed to come you in and attack us during- I'll bet you she was supposed to be in the room with us and assassins come in and kill his wife. I'll bet you that's what was supposed yes, to happen. Yes, you deserve for your wife to be murdered. That's it. That's an accurate statement. The Forsworn have a king? I'm sorry she's dead, but you had it coming. We were all fighting the elves in the Great War. Madanak was busy ruling over the Love the dialogue in this game. Came and put them down. It's like, what if Axe Cop was written by somebody was even crushed. younger? I had he went from imagined. my wife is a pile of ashes to full exposition mode <laughs> with his arms folded standing in front of me in like an instant. What's up? How you doing? Like, if you just tune in right now, would you think that this guy's wife just died? <laughs> Now Dearest Rutskan, I am lamenting to, f to inform you that it is because of you that my wife is dead. This makes me very sad. My wife was a very important person who did lots of things for the town. I would like it if you would somehow redeem her death by killing the bad guy that killed my wife. Can we actually just listen to his voice for a second? You already got what you wanted, you no. damn hound. This is your fault. Yeah, this is you my fault. What you gonna do about it? You both rot to death in Mine this guy doesn't even look now upset enough now. for you to have torn up a picture of his wife in front of him. Alright, we yeah. need to Let them just sort of like here. storm off like, well, I sure told him. As his wife's ashes <laughs> cool in the corner. Key to Markarth Treasury House? <laughs> I guess I better go get the dustpan. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> His accent oh, was also Bethesda. a little Tommy Wiseau, wasn't it? A, li a little, you're tearing me apart, Lisa! A little bit, right? A little Nobody? bit, yeah. Okay. I love robbing this. It makes no sense that you should be able to walk in here and rob this. God. And yet you can, and it is so hilarious. Like, it should immediately, they should go hostile if you approach this door, since there is no reason in the universe for you to approach this, the door th that leads into this little room here with the safe in it. But, you walk up to it, you sneak in, okay, I'm you steal crap. all the stuff. I'm I love stuck. it. No, nope. I haven't been paying attention particularly to our inventory. How did we get 30 uh, lockpicks back? Did we join the Thieves Guild and get a bunch of stuff? No, I, I, what happened was I didn't take the lockpicks with me when I was in uh, the spy zone. Oh. Um. The spy zone. What am I even talking? The spylight zone. zone. Find evidence about Nepos. All right, let's get this train rolling. So so far, we've gone to a place, talked to a guy, looked at a thing. A guy punched us. We talked to another guy. His wife died, and that apparently unlocked his exposition storehouse 
So, now what is the thing? So now we gotta find Nepos' house here. You See, got a quest marker, probably... don't you? When you actually don't have, like, yeah, but it doesn't character motivations fucking... oh, you care about, is. and people who seem interesting and likable, then it nice becomes very easy for quests to boil down to their rudest descriptions. Excuse me. Which, I mean, obviously What's you can boil any here? quest down to... Okay, let's... You know, you know Just what? Actually, looking around. You, you know what this game needs. You, you really know what this game needs. It needs fewer NPCs that you interact with, and more characters that you actually care about over the entire yes. course of the game. Like I yeah, rather care of... about the fate of three or four Jarls than say like the entire realm of Skyrim is yours to control in a really abstract kind of generic way. I don't yes. actually think that's even true. As much, I mean, like, I think, I think it'd be a very different game, and it'd be a good game. But you know, I think that they could do this as long as they just like had writers who cared about having sorry, dialogue that was more than just functional. Well, I think the point yeah, being is, if you guys are only going to put this much work into writing, then at least concentrate that work into ah, a yes. few people instead of giving everybody yeah. four lines. Well, give yeah, a few people forty lines. Uh, because this is look this at this. Is a mile I've been playing this speed. game for almost 20 years, sending the young to their deaths, all in the name of the Forsworn, and I'm tired, so tired. I could have stopped, Jesus but I mean, you know, what else am I gonna do on the weekends, right? Because my king told tell him he's a monster. Because oh no, okay. I wanted you to tell him he was a monster because I wanted to hear his stupid response to that, like. Yes, I suppose I am, but well, which is just the most conflict-free response you could possibly give. He breaks out into scat jazz, like doo 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 doo. Is that what happens? That would actually, I would actually really respect the game where you call someone a monster and they're just like these give it a pop pop doo 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 pop pop pop. And you're just like, wait, what? He's like, sorry, you're getting too righteous. <laughs> he is the king in rags, a man who once held all the reach within his grip. He stokes the power. God, he's just giving it up. City, directs them to kill the enemies of the Forsworn in our name. He's Nepo's pretty the confident nose, more like in his the ability snitch. to kill me. A Nord prison. <laughs> Nepos the squealer. Quite thick. Mark Arth and the reach. Nepos the leaky sieve. That is why we are the Forsworn. Yeah, you guys, like, do human sacrifice and, like, put... Briar hearts in your heart place, so I'm gonna go with I prefer the Nords. Then Ulfric and his men came. Those of us who didn't run were executed, except for myself, my king. This is clearly the most interesting way for this information to be delivered, while an old man reads a book in front of a fireplace. How awesome would it be if this game actually had cutscenes? Wow, like this somebody is, starts this is really happening. And okay. Then, so, and now that I've told that. you my plan, Mr. Bond, I'm going to have a couple of dirty peasants with knives try to kill you. I may have told you my plan, but can you stop Susan holding a dagger? <laughs> hey. Okay. You know what? I actually, I think that's really cool. Yeah. Idea. There's your nose. I yeah, really like awesome. that you talk to this NPC and then all of his servants attack you. That's actually pretty cool. Like that's I, that's badass. I like that. I don't want to slag that off because that's that's interesting. That's different, but it did seem kind of silly. I will say. Everything here is still apparently owned. I by wouldn't no have minded. One. I actually would have thought that was really fun if I was just playing it, but just watching it looked kind of. We're one of the same kind, you and I. Yep. That is what you wish. Art. Every time Wait she a says minute. that, Back like, up. I imagine her just saying, like, You are, her you know, you are killing people Wait. with a wood, with a wood axe! axe. <laughs> Holy what shit. the fuck? Well, this you know what? This is not the zombie apocalypse, Janessa. We have bladed Josh, weapons. she does have a point. You are very alike. Uh, inventory full awesome Josh, weapons. Let's, let me use the, the fucking bucket. wood axe. No, carry the- keep the bucket forever. No, let's drop We're very alike, you would- we both carry also along a lot of worthless bullshit. Nope, we're keeping it. She can have the cast iron pot. 
Oh, in this episode of Skyrim Hoarders. <laughs> Where's all my uh, Oh, I need this! Oh, God, you can't God, take God. that! That's my it's favorite like, bucket! I arrest you already? Look at all this stuff. No, uh, nobody comes great. in and arrests him for this. Because, of course, yeah. <laughs> this was completely legal. You know, okay, okay, I'll say this. It feels like Skyrim sort of obsesses over the minutia and misses the greater dramatic elements of what it needs to focus on to be an emotionally resonant game. And Josh obsessing over hoarding crap sort of emphasizes that. Where it's like, we, yes. we have entire episodes dedicated to yes. carrying brooms and coal pots and random other crap, and yet, like, entire character backstories are brushed over with a, a like, a, a narrative by a guy sitting in front of a fireplace going, and then some important stuff happened, and we're, like, making fun of him the whole time. And that, I think, is the crux of the way this game doesn't work. Like, it, it needs to have more emphasis on character and narrative and structure and telling you the story it wants to tell you, and less emphasis on obsessing over, like, but look, all the spoons have physics! It's important! And it's like, no, the spoon <laughs> physics is, like, so not important, really. In the big yeah. scheme of things, I mean, spoon physics sucks. I think I can actually emphasize Chris's point really well. Like, by, you know, I, I say, so our gaming has a bad rap for a pretty good reason, but there's a lot of posts on that site that amount to like you know i cried so hard when this happened and they like post something from like a nintendo game about butts that fart out symphonies and it's a rhythm game and it's just you know just it, it, the no matter who you are and what you played you can always find someone who in that moment at that point in their life also had that emotionally resonant moment and gives you the critical mass of upvotes needed to share your experience now there was a long I, I, time I, and to this to this day, still, Skyrim had dominated the gaming subreddit. Like to the point where even today, you can go on there and there's a Skyrim post right there. And I don't think I've ever seen one which was like, "I really liked this character," or "I really thought this character was interesting." Oh look, he's yeah. dead. No, none of these. They're all so generic. It's it's so broad in its approach. <laughs> you are still holding that axe, Janessa. You know, but, okay, we, this okay, actually... You think you're yep. Like, do we know anything about really what motivates her? Has she brought it up at all the, the entire time she's been our companion? Do we know why she's with us? I mean, I know there's a reason why she signed up with us at some point. paid her to come... How are you similar? She never right, addresses that. Similar? What does she have in common with this? And that's part of the problem, is they need to encompass, me, like, a hero of legend yeah. and this, and they don't want to have the NPC say, actually, I don't like you anymore, fuck off. Like they would in Fallout 3, even. Yeah, that's the thing, is like, Fallout 3 has metrics for t determining what your character is, so if you're evil, or if you've got negative karma, a character can be like, oh, you're a jerk and I hate you, but I'm with you because I still believe in X and I need you to get there. Or if you're a good guy, they can be like, oh, I totally support what you're doing. There's nothing like that here. It is just this blind, anything the player wants goes fantasy wank, and it really is just disappointing. What the heck? <laughs> And, and I guess that's the game's strength, food. and it's its weakness, where it's like, the game's strength is that it lets you do whatever you want, and if people want that sort of sandboxy combat sim that lets them sort of superimpose their own imagination on it, but, but if you're not playing in a way that lets you sort of invent your own backstory, it, it falls apart. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna go on a limb and say Janasa is probably pretty fucking sick of being blown across a room. <laughs> <laughs> you think? Especially when she's waving sharp objects around. She's just, she's her own projectile weapon. <laughs> Fire the cannon. Oh my god. So are you you're not supposed to beat these guys, are you? I don't know. About to find You're supposed out. to surrender to them. That's how you proceed with the quest. That's a that's this was the big part where I started getting really pissed off. I'm like, fine, this is all really boring. But then yeah, I remember there to was lose this quests don't work in this kind of game. No, they do not. See that guy surrendering. What a chump. 
You know, actually, you could just jump up into the rafters and eventually Janasa would kill these guys. I know. A thousand bounty added to the reach. Well then. Was that <laughs> supposed like to happen? Can... Well, uh, my it's plan here is to just guard. kill every guard at this point. Wait, no, seriously. Were you supposed to just get a bounty of a thousand septums? I don't think that was supposed I don't to happen. Know. You're supposed to surrender. Right. So this is gonna be interesting next time you're rolling a town. Oh, um, another thousand. What's uh, your bounty crap. at? Crap. So... Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> I don't... Oh, god damn it. So they didn't show up oh. until... Yeah, show up until so you die, this is huh? the part where the quest is really dumb. Wait, and then it I loads? Saw... Yeah, I saw this yep. coming. I realized this was a. I could tell this was a. You must lose this fight, and so I never bothered explaining, um, what er, exploring what happens if you try and fight your way out, because I knew it would be bullshit, because I could just smell the stench of railroading on it. Could you yeah. like? Couldn't you walk out of the place or like? What the fuck? No, you would. You would have a bounty in the reach. And no keep trying to get arrested. <sighs> I'm so mad. Why would they... If... God damn it. If this is supposed to be a corrupt force, then why do you have a bounty, and why does it carry over, and how does it go away? Yeah. All of that is just, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. It's just, it's, you just gotta go with it. You just gotta go with it. And you can accept that for a lot of stuff, but when the game starts messing with its own mechanics, it gets really tedious when it starts changing the rules on you. Because the rules the don't problem. already the rules already don't make sense. So I've already accepted this pile of bullshit, and now you're expecting me to what hand wave it away too, and that just pisses you off. See, the problem is Bethesda is so fucking bad at making Bethesda games. Best keep that. Is it? Is there like, oh, let's <laughs> yes. have a quest where this happens, and they're like, oh, well, how do we do that in an open world game? My we can't. So, so we'll just do some bullshit. And get out. You don't want to end up getting a shiv in the guts over a bottle of skin. The question keeps being, how can we make the player do this? And that's... it's just... They you're asking the wrong question! Clean out the bodies, grab any oil it's like they don't understand the strengths of an open world game. Like, if they want a game that's all about emergent, do whatever you want, fine. But then really embrace that sort of emergent, let go of the narrative, whatever happens, happens sort of thing. And they refuse to do that. Yes. Like, how much I mean, more honestly, interesting would be if so getting thrown into the tender. mines was one of was many like possible job. routes through this quest? And maybe it's the one with the best ending. Maybe it's the one where you Man. can solve the most stuff if you're Boy, willing to... Boy, the up. Exciting. <laughs> I felt the rush of... Yeah, I feel mind. horrible. You can't carry the burden. You're weak. And I mean, I know, okay, I know a lot of the responses... Murder him. Murder him. Murder him. Yep. I know a lot of the response to that sort of thing is yeah. like, oh, well, you can't possibly voice act every possibility, and it's too expensive. And on a AAA, you know, but that's the level budget. That's Can I just kill everyone here? <laughs> yeah, Actually, your Josh, pickaxe um, kind of sucks. Son. So just so you guys know, uh, it's time for me to say my positive thing about why am I on like this fire? game for the episode? Uh, and lollygagging was a pretty good line. Yeah, so Here's that guy's it. unkillable. I'll bet the rest of these folks are also unkillable. Oh. So fucking great. Yeah, open world game where where you can do anything as long as it's what we told you to do. Oh. Bethesda, you can have any color you want as in... long as it's black. Bethesda, stop putting us in rooms where the we're the only person who can die, please. Okay, if we're in a room with gods, I'll accept it. If we get in the room with like Azura. And Vivek, then all right, I'm the only one that can die. That's fair. But if you're gonna put me in a in a in a room with a bunch of starving miners and say I'm the one that's most the only one that's vulnerable, then something is wrong. Except spoiler warning, you could kill Zara and Vivek. <laughs> Did that happen in Morrowind? I did. Yeah, you could totally kill their gods. Yeah.